guys, this is Daniel with the Midnight Movie Trash and gonna do another pickups videos. Long overdue. Um, had a big Dollar Tree pickup haul that I did, as well as uh, uh, picked up some other random films here and there. Got some info review for dropthespotlight.com, as well as, uh, like I said in the, in the last one, uh, got new gear that I'm working out so that kind of a. Uh, Put me back on making a few videos. I wanted to wait till I got the new lens, new camera in, and all that situated, test it out. So these are the first few videos that I am doing with the new gear. Um, first off, uh, this one came in from uh, Will Go USA, The Long Night, Scout Tyler Compton, Taylor Compton, uh, one of her latest films. It is a very good film. I like. I enjoyed it. It's kind of long-winded and a little drawn out but it is creepy the cinematography is amazing on it scout did a, a excellent job in her character and you know it, it reminded me a little bit of antlers with the way that this cult is geared up with uh, different horns and skulls and whatnot but yeah it's a, a very kind of creepy film and finding her her actual I guess you could say her origin story of you know where she came from her parents and what ties she has to the to this cult and is uh it's pretty good I definitely recommend checking out this film you know if you're a fan of Scout this is a must own must see but check it out the long night next one that's came in uh, is the pilot I have to do a review of this one I haven't done it yet the long nights up on drop the spotlight .com. just uh, I don't know I got an email saying to hold off on, on any reviews of this film so I'm gonna wait I gotta see if that's you know cool to do uh, the next one is a black and white film from the 50s uh, from the film detective the monster from green hell and this one's pretty good I had never seen it before practical effects of the the wasp that looks like a fly you know for that time frame is excellent you know so if you're into these old old uh, black and white horror films definitely check this one out the other one that came in was national champions football college football film about Uncovering the, you know, basically how in the movie they called it modern day slavery of playing football for an education and not being able to have benefits leaving school for all the damage that they've done. And, you know, two football players try to change that. And it's a really good film. If you're a fan of, of sports films, you know, it, it's, a, it's a good watch. It, it is a little a little long, a little drawn out, but what can I say? It's good. Uh, next one I got, and these uh, uh, are some that I, that I picked up personally. Uh, Immortal Instrument, City of Bones. Um, I don't know, I have a soft spot for that film. You know, maybe it's Lily Collins or whatnot, but it is what it is. Plus the weaponry is cool, the glass looking weaponry. Then I picked up Hellfest, which for Amazon for $4.99, you know, same thing with Immortal Instruments, was like under six bucks. That was the only reasons I picked them up. But this was a decent film. It, it, it was a lot better than I expected. And finally, it has arrived. I did an unboxing video of it, Death Game. You know, what can I say? You know, Death Game. The film that inspired Knock Knock. It's a wild film. It's a little tamer than Knock Knock, I feel. Uh, the ending, the way that they, the, the way it ends was pretty cool. But how they leave the guy compared to how they left Keanu Reeves in, in Knock Knock. Well, it's in there somewhere, but 
definitely check this one out if you haven't checked it out I know this edition is sold out um, I do have the the little uh, meat cleaver keychain uh, it's up there next to my uh, hypodermic needle from uh, I drink your blood and my puzzle from puzzle from pieces but definitely check it out if you can I know it's playing across the country in theaters and select locations because Grindhouse is cool like that but yeah let me know in the comments what you guys have picked up uh, I did not pre-order a thriller after all I was short on funds when the pre-order came up but I am going to Texas Frightmare at the end of the month so and Vinegar Syndrome is slated as a vendor so I'm hoping maybe they do like they did with New York Ninja where the conventions before it's released they had it to purchase at the table if so I will be doing that as well as purchasing some stuff from Texas Frightmare as well as doing a vlog from Frightmare as I, I am going with DropTheSpotlight.com my other you know website I co-own and we'll be doing press uh, for Texas Frightmare for DropTheSpotlight.com so look forward to some Texas Frightmare content from there I don't know if I'll be able to do interviews but I will be you know shooting some cool content there either way but be sure to follow me on social media till next time see ya